Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. If you're new, thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate that. All right, let's do another 5-2 Toys review. Yeah, all right. It's been a minute since I've done. I've got tons of them to do. I just, you know, a lot of new Transformers come out right before Chinese New Year. I just hadn't had a chance. So I thought I'd do one. Uh, I'm going to try, you know, to do some more later on. But we're going to look at, uh, this is 5-2 Toys Beast Box BB-41 White Noise. It's an owl. It's freaking awesome. Mechanical owl. So there is the front. Nothing really much on the, you got the side right here. And then you got the back. So yeah, these are, if you don't know what they are, uh, they're little cube things that transform into like animals or, you know, they've done uh, Predator, Alien, uh, some other stuff like that. So really cool, but I really like them. Um, I got really, you know, like a really dig in a hole uh, or a brown, down a rabbit hole uh, last year. And I, I'm really, yeah, love these things. I got tons of them now. So there you go. So let's just get right to it. That's what you came for, white noise. All right, real quick, we'll take a look at what he comes with. Doesn't come with very much. He comes with this nice little card. They always usually come with one of these. Looks really good. Love the art. It says white noise, BB-41. Got the beast box, and then you got the cube mode. Then on the back, if you want to pause for the cause and read that, you can. Nice little bio. And then you got some stats and stuff. So pretty cool. And most of them, like they do, they come with box chargers. Not all of them do, but most of them do. And this is just a clear one. It says box charger on the side, box charger, caution. And you can take them, you know, if you watch any of my other reviews, you can take them and stack them up and on top or side or on top of each other. So that's pretty cool. And he will fit in there. Uh, let me open this up. And you just put them in there. And there you go. And you can display them like that if you want to. So pretty cool. And we'll take a quick look at the cube mode. Not much to look at, but you know, you can see them. But there you go. You do see some paint, some nice orange paint right there. You're going to see some translucent orange right there also. And you got mostly tan and white plastic right there. And some more paint and underneath right that. So not much to them, but it is a nice little perfect cube for him. So there you go. White noise in his uh, cube mode. Real quick, there he is next to Crapagonics, crappy toilet paper, a AAA battery, and some Care Bears for just a little scale for you. There's white noise in all his glory. He kind of looks, remember him, uh, Clash of the Titans, Bubo, the owl, the mechanical owl? That's what he reminds me of. Same colors, really, to be honest, the gold and all that stuff. So I I don't know if they took that from him, but he kind of looks like it. So that's pretty cool. All right, there he is with his wingspan. Now, he does have a little nice little gimmick. He's got a little, I don't know if it's a battle mask or maybe it's just a sleep mode. But very nice. He got a little, little battle mask going on. So that's pretty cool. I like that. He's got beautiful paint all around. Nice gold right here. They got the nice translucent gold as well for his beak. That looks awesome. Orange paint right here. Some more gold and orange on the side with the feathers. Gold right here. Got his little uh, emblem. Looks literally good. Look at all that paint on the chest. Then the wings got some nice orange throughout to break up the white and the tan. Looks very nice. And you got some right here, right there. 
So tons of paint. Then the translucent for the claws. That is awesome. And then the back. I love that head. Then you got some on top right here. You got some nice orange up there. Then you got some more paint. Gold, orange. Very nice on the feathers. You got some nice uh, line work and sculpt work throughout. So it looks really good. There's that. And on the tail feather, you got some orange paint. So very nicely done. All right. So as far as articulation, we'll put his uh, things in. There's his beautiful gold eyes right there. Nice translucent. The beak does go down a little bit, and it goes up I mean, like that, so you can open it up. So as far as articulation, he can look down quite a bit. You can lift it up a little bit. So very nice. Nice swivel. It is tight. You got that uh, fans toy squeaks, but you can go all the way around. You do have a little attitude as well. You can look up quite a bit as well, so he can do, you know, go in flying mode. I like that. That is awesome. And look at all that beautiful paint on him. Looks so good. This is really nice. But yeah, really nice on the head sculpt and the head movement and everything. Okay, as far as the wings, you can go in like this and go out about that far. Now you can extend them like this, like this. So you do have, and then you can extend this part right here too as well, up. And you can go in and out too. So tons of movement for the wings. So you can uh, definitely get him in some definitely nice flying poses and some poses. And you can just class him. And if he wants to go to sleep, you can have him in like that too. So very nice. Love, love the articulation for the wings and the head. So, And you can have him far out like that. So pretty cool. All right. Now as far as the... Uh, Legs or his feet, not they're really tight, really tight. So there's some tolerance issues with this one, but can't go out very far. It will start popping out the ball joint. So about that far, uh, you can lift them up too. Like I said, it is tight, and you do got a you have a bend right here and a bend right here too, and you do have a rocker right there. So with the uh, claws and everything, that's pretty cool. And you can bend. The claws like this and you do have like this artwork movement you know every time you see an owl when they attack you know they their claws are out like that so they gave that right there so you can kind of uh, get in a nice uh, attacking mode so that's really cool so you can grab thing. only thing is um you know they have a parrot that they uh, put out a long time ago a couple years ago um they gave him a perch i wish they would have gave this guy a perch i don't know if they're going to eventually give one to him but it'd been pretty cool if they could have because he got a little two hole like a hole right there and right there that would have been cool so he could have set on his uh, little box charger. That would have been pretty cool. But there you go. Um, is there a swivel? There's a little wiggle waggle there, but there's no swivel right here. So, But, but yeah, then the tail will go uh, up and down a little bit. So you got a little wiggle waggle there too. So not bad, but yeah, pretty neat. I like it. He is awesome. He's beautiful, actually. To be honest, I love the colors on him, and I love the articulation. So there you go. Articulation and sculpt work for Batu Toys White Noise. Well, real quick, I forgot to mention, you do have a little port right here. I got this from the Soundwave from the Studio Series. You do have a little port right there, and there is something right here as well. I don't know what will fit in there, uh, but you can put this little post in here. You can have them pose like that. I think that's pretty cool. You can have them action pose. And also he has some, if you have these little extra weapons you get with uh, some other ones, you can arm him up. So that's pretty cool too. So you do have that option. So just wanted to mention that real quick, but that is pretty cool. I like that. So just to give you an idea of the scale, there you go. You got the Zeta Toys. This is Legend Scale uh, Superion. You got a uh, Sideswipe and you got Optimus Prime from the War of Cybertron line. Then you got a Legends, that's New Age Megatron. Uh, just for a little scale for you. And Crapagonics, crappy toilet paper, a AAA battery, squeaks, kicker, and Care Bears for more scale.
All right, let's talk about some 5-2 toys. White Noise. This is the Beast Box one. I like this one. One of my favorites. Uh, really don't have anything, you know, negative to say. Cube mode, you know it is. It's kind of boring, but you can stack them like that and, you know, you know, display them. And I think that's pretty cool. It's a nice little option. Transformation is easy. Shouldn't be that hard to figure it out. I love the owl mode. Looks really good. The paint on this thing is spectacular. I love all the gold, the orange, the translucent uh, orange as well. Looks good. I mean, you know, I like, the, you know, it's got a lot of white and, you know, tan plastic, but the paint, you know, breaks it up and I like that. Looks really good. So yeah, very nice on the paint job on this one. Great job. Articulation, really good. Head movement, I like that. I love the little battle mask. You can put that down or, or sleep mode, whatever you want to use it for. Uh, the wings have really great articulation. Kind of wish it had a swivel down. You know, it doesn't, you know, it just goes in and out, but I kind of wish it swiveled, uh, you know, forward and back. That would have been pretty cool. But other than that, really nice on the, you know, the wings. The legs have uh, some great articulation too as well. Uh, tolerances are really tight. Be careful with this one. Uh, just, you know, it, it does have the fans toy squeak. But uh, other than that, really good. I love the face sculpt. It looks really nice. A little owl. Love the translucent uh, eyes and the beak. So very nice. And once again, the paint is just awesome. Very nicely done. I highly recommend this one. If you, if you collect 5 2 toys, definitely got to get a white noise. So yeah, hope you like my review. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. Uh, hit me up some comments. Tell me you thought of the review. And I guess I'll see you in the next 5-2 uh, Toys reviews. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell 5-2 Toys, man. Y'all are some good stuff. And good night, folks. Whoosh, whoosh, <laughs> whoosh. I love that you can put the head movement right there so you can get some flying modes. I kind of wish you had a port right there somewhere so you could, uh, you know, put a stand right there. That would have been pretty cool. But I'm thinking that's what this thing back here for the tail is. I don't know. Oh, what's up? How you doing? I am good. My name is White Noise. What's up? I am chicken. Oh, do you want to go fly together? Heck yeah, let's go. Doo, doo, doo. Let me see if I can get my wings out. Yeah, I haven't flown in a long time. Whee! Let's fly together. Woo! Can't keep your head up. Come on. All right. Good job, 5-2 Toys.